John Cody. May I have your permission to date your ex-girlfriend? I, I, I mean, you guys aren't going out anymore, so uh, it's no big deal, right? <laughs> All right. You have my permission. Wanna kiss my ring? Yeah. Get real. Not only did he give me his blessing, but he lent me his limo for the night. I told you to kiss the ring. Here we go. One hunk of chocolate heaven for a special occasion. I don't believe it. After all these years, you actually remembered my birthday. Right. This is for our new editor on the occasion of the big journalism banquet. Forget it, Victor. I'm not bringing you with me. No. Emily, you don't understand. You see, I always go to the journalism banquet. It's a tradition. You've gone twice. It's a two-year tradition. <laughs> Too bad. Cody can say what he wants, okay? But I'm telling you, he's still hung up on Emily. Mm -mm, he is not. Look, the fact is, guys get over relationships quicker than girls. Uh, oh, please. When you broke up with Lisa McKay, you spent an entire month locked in your bedroom listening to old Simon and Garfunkel records. Yeah, but that was different. Thank you. Chris is more in touch with his feminine side. What? Cody isn't like that. <laughs> Can we not mention my feminine side in public anymore? That's the sort of thing that people tend to misinterpret. So, Roberts, who are you going to ask at the journalism banquet? I don't know. I was thinking maybe... Romeo. <laughs> I knew it. So why don't you go over there and ask him? I dare you. Oh, you dare me. That's real mature. I double dare you. Fine, that's not gonna work. Oh, no? Well, maybe this will. Oh, Romeo. Haul it over here, baby. I got something to ask you. I can't believe you just did that. I'm gonna kill you. Hi, Romeo. Hi. What's up, Flash? You got something you want to ask me? Oh, not me. Emily. I'm all yours. That ought to make you happy. So what's on your mind? Well, I've got this journalism banquet thing on Friday, and well, I'm supposed to bring a date, so I was wondering if you wanted to go. Sure, I'd love to. Except... Except what? I gotta check on something first. I'll get back to you, I promise. <laughs> I'm still available. <laughs> you were staring. No, too. you were. Hi, guys. Don't get... Hey, hey, just the woman I wanted to see. I need a favor. Sure. Uh, I got this big computer test coming up, and I'm not doing that well. <laughs> now, that's an understatement. You're looking at a guy who giggles every time he hears the words three and a half inch floppy. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's... <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I could use a little tutoring. You're doing great. Go ahead. Type a little faster. No! Not that sequence! No problem. How about tonight? That'd be perfect. Great. See you later. Later. Did you see that? What? She touched your arm. Right. So? It's a total signal. It means he's interested. Big time. Get real, Chris. I'm serious. That's the way women do things, you know? Subtle and indirect. It's Dad. Give me a call sometime. <laughs> well, most women, anyway. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, Cody. What's the deal with you and Emily? What do you mean? Well, it's all over between you two, right? For real. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, then you wouldn't mind if I go out with her on Friday. Out? What do you mean, like, out, out? Yeah, you know, like a, like a date. A date or a date? Date. <laughs> Cody, you're, uh, you're babbling. And I mean, like, babbling, babbling. Look, if it's a problem... No problem, you know. Uh, you want to go out with her? Have a good time, really. You sure? <laughs> yeah, positive. Okay. Thanks. Hmm. I'm impressed. That was very mature. Well, what's the big deal, right? A friend of mine wants to go out with my ex-girlfriend. What do I care? Exactly. It's not as if she's going to give him any intimate details from when you were going out. Couple. No way. There's absolutely nothing between them. What makes you say that? It's obvious. They've got nothing in common. They'll never be anything more than just friends. Oops. She touched his arm. She touched his arm? You said it yourself. That's a signal. Okay, I did say that, but let's face it. I'm almost always wrong about that sort of thing. You know, I am actually starting to enjoy doing this help me column. <laughs> Dear help me, I can't seem to lose weight. What should I do? Sign desperate. Dear desperate, try hauling your fat can over to the gym. <laughs> Good work, Victor. Really sensitive. Yep. Tough love. That's what these people need. Hey, guys. Uh, I need to talk to Romeo alone for a sec. Sure. What's up? Um, you know how I told you that it wouldn't bother me if you went out with Emily? I lied. <laughs> it would bother me. I don't really understand it. I mean, we are definitely not going out anymore, but... But <laughs> when I saw the two of you together, uh, it Look, just... You don't have to explain. If you don't want me to go out with her, I won't go out with her. We're friends. Thanks. Hey, thanks, man. I don't get it. Why does Romeo need Cody's permission to go out with Emily? It's, it's the guy's code of honor. We have a code of honor? Of course. You never insult someone's mother, you never turn state's evidence, and you never go out with a friend's ex unless he says it's okay. <laughs> and listening in on other people's conversations? No, that's fine. <laughs> ah, excellent. <laughs> Hey, Emily. Hey, how's it going? It's cool. Look, um, about Friday night, I can't go. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, something came up. All right, well, maybe we can get together next week. Well, actually, I can't go out with you, ever. What do you mean, you can't? Why not? I just can't. Sorry. <sighs> Molly Johnson. Hear me there. What's going on? All right, Shepard, start talking. Talking about what? You know what? <laughs> about Emily and Romeo? <laughs> what about him? Romeo says he can't go out with her. What exactly is that supposed to mean? How am I supposed to know? Why don't you ask him? Because we're asking you. Listen, Emily is very upset. And when Emily is upset, we're upset. You don't want us to get upset. 
Do you? Hey, listen, I'd love to help you, but I don't know anything. I swear. Wait a minute. This isn't one of those guys' code of honor things, is it? Guys' code of honor. <laughs> Never heard of it. <gasps> oh. Forget it. He won't talk. In a situation like this, all guys stick together. It's almost impossible to find one who's willing to rat the other out. Well, hello there. I hear someone still needs a date for tomorrow night. I'm not in the mood, Victor. You know, when Morton merged the papers and made you editor, I was angry. I admit that. But I'm over it now. I accept the situation. Congratulations. But the fact is, I've been in your position. I know what it's like. And I can help you. What are you talking about? You're the boss. And every boss needs a right-hand man. Oh, hmm, I get it. You mean someone to laugh at all my jokes and agree with all my ideas even when they're stupid. Exactly. <laughs> I could be that someone. I don't think so, Victor. And I could start by telling you why Romeo can't go out with you. What do you know about that? Everything. All right. Fine, let's hear it. What's in it for me? You get to keep your teeth. Okay. It's the, it's the guy's code of honor. What? The guy's code of honor? Apparently, Romeo can't go out with you unless Cody gives him permission, and he won't. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So, shall I reserve a limo for tomorrow night? Hmm? I don't believe this. Uh, you know, I have my own tux. <laughs> Reboot. Uh, when you restart the system. The cursor. Little floating on screen arrow thingy. Okay. Three and a half inch floppy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a disk that stores information. Java. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> okay. Let's try some troubleshooting. Situation one, you're working on an assignment when suddenly your computer freezes. What do you do? I call you. I don't answer my phone. No, go over to your place. <laughs> I'm not home. I spend all night looking for you, right? Finally, I find you. And when I do, I ask you to come back to my place and help me with my computer assignment. I don't believe it. That's the answer. <laughs> Why don't we try some basic programming? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, do you have any blank disks? Uh, try the drawer. No, not that one. What is all this stuff? <laughs> Nothing. Pictures of you and Emily? Letters to you from Emily? Tickets to the ballet? Oh, <laughs> she made me go. See? I told you you'd like it. <laughs> Cody, why are you keeping all this stuff? I don't know. I guess I just I haven't had a chance to clean out my drawer. Yeah. Okay, look. I know what you're thinking, and you are wrong. I am totally over Emily, I swear. Totally. Yeah, well, you have a funny way of showing it. Emily! Wow, where'd you come from? Your dad let me in. Good old dad. You know something, Cody? You've got a lot of nerve. I do? Since when do you decide who I can go out with? Not him. 
Uh, not him. Him, you can go out with. Come to Papa. I don't care who you go out with. Oh, yeah, well, sure you do, if it's Romeo. I heard from a very reliable source that he can't go out with me because you won't let him. What? What? No, well, actually... No, look, I don't appreciate you trying to run my life. I'm not trying to run your life. All I said to Romeo was it would kind of bother me if a good friend of mine was going out with my ex-girlfriend. I don't understand why it should bother you at all. We are not going out anymore. I never said to him or any... Thanks for dropping by. I think I better get going. Uh, we're not finished yet. It sounds like we finished to me. Anything I can do for you? Uh, no, I really need to talk to Mags. I can be Mags. Chris, you are not wearing those pants to your uncle's funeral. <laughs> Too creepy. I'd rather talk to Flash. So, what's the problem? It's Cody, isn't it? How'd you know? Vasquez, what don't I know? <laughs> Go on. Well... I think he still has his thing for Emily. So forget about him. Did you know he still has a drawer full of her stuff in his bedroom? <laughs> Pathetic. You can do better. They broke up a long time ago. He should be over her by now. Absolutely right. On the other hand, maybe I'm overreacting. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, it was his first serious relationship. You don't just forget about that overnight. Yeah, He's a but... sensitive guy, you know. He's been through a lot lately. True. However, maybe I should just give him some more time. Don't you think? <laughs> I, oh, you're right. From now on, I'm going to try to be more understanding. Thanks, Flash. You've been a big help. Anytime. Peach is a good idea. No problem. So how'd it go with Grace? It was a disaster. You cook for her. No. Emily came over. Found out I was the one who told Romeo not to go out with her. That must have been awkward. <laughs> Kinda. Worst part is, now Grace thinks I still have a thing for Emily. Well, do you? How many times do I have to say this? No. It's over. Then why does it bother you if she sees other people? It doesn't. Just... Why does it have to be Romeo? Okay. What if it was someone else? What if it was Victor? <laughs> right. What color is this guy in this imaginary world? Hey, anything's possible. I mean, what if it was me? You. Yeah, why not? How would you react if you found out that I was dating Emily? <laughs> I think I'd be okay with it. Let me see your wallet. Oh, real nice. Now you're charging me for the pizza? Just let me see it. Hmm. What's this? A picture. A picture of you and Emily. Now, why are you still carrying this around? You see, this is the problem. You've got all these little bits of your past with Emily still floating around in your life. You have to get rid of them. All of them. Fine, but I You've have... You've got to decide. If you really think there's a chance of getting back together with her, then tell her. If not, then do everyone a favor and get on with your life. Em, you look great. Shut up. I brought you something. I don't care. Um, it's just some stuff of yours. I thought you might want it back. My 100 Years of Solitude. My Blackburn CD. Hey, my earrings. I've been looking all over for these. Why do you have her earrings? 
Don't ask. Cody, I can't believe you kept all this stuff. We've got an itemized list. If you could just sign at the bottom. <laughs> all right. There. Done. Uh, not quite. There's also a few of Cody's items currently in your possession. We've got one red sweater, one green flannel shirt, and one box set of the complete Star Wars trilogy. I want joint custody on the videos. Fine. Every other weekend. And I also want to apologize. I've been a real jerk, and I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Well, now that that's settled, there's just the small matter of my fee. Oh, please, that bit's huh? getting old. Okay, I got on my dancing shoes, and I'm ready to roll. Excuse me? Well, Cody called me up last night and said everything was cool. We can go out now. Not tonight, we can't. Why not? Well, while you guys were busy playing your little games, I made other plans. With, With who? who? Ready? You bet. Oh, and Romeo, if you're serious about wanting to go out sometime, just give me a call. You count on it. <laughs> well, I don't know about you guys, but I think this is great. You know, finally a chance to spend some good old-fashioned quality guy time. Hi, honey. You ready to go? Sure, sweetie. <laughs> Bye, guys. Well, genius, now that you've successfully managed to mess up both of our love lives, what do you want to do now? See, Romeo? I told you you'd love this. Am I right? Am I right?